What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. So right now, actually, ooh, I didn't really notice this until I, not that I didn't notice it because I hung it up, but I noticed it even more and now that it's in the back of my vlogs, the Rifle Paper Company calendar and I'm obsessed with it, I love it. And yes, I decided to hang it up here. I literally just stuck tape right there to like hold it though. So it's kind of like a weird <laughs> hold up job. Right now I'm on my way to the gym. I feel like I have chia seeds in my teeth. So I just had some chia seed pudding. I wish I would have filmed it, but I've just kind of been busy all morning. It's already two o'clock. So it's not even morning anymore, but I woke up, I spent time with the Lord. I read my Bible and stuff like that. And um, I just had a really great morning. I actually woke up at five. I fell asleep at nine o'clock last night, which is very early for me. I'm in a workout right now because I spent the whole morning um, after I read my Bible and stuff, I spent the whole morning editing and filming. I filmed part of two videos. So that's what I've done today. And then I actually edited the portions that I filmed. So, and then I got a few emails done. I had to reschedule some things and I had to call my doctor and I had to just do some like random like work stuff and like personal life stuff so right now before the gym I'm drinking this thing called an Arbon fizzy stick and it basically has like I think it just has like B vitamins I know it's natural it's not made of any like artificial weird things um, so and you can't buy Arbon that's why I hate mentioning things that you like literally cannot buy but you can't buy Arbon unless you like know a consultant so if you know an Arbon consultant then you can buy it but if you don't then you can't this is like my preference for a pre workout and then over there I got my blender bottle and that has my BCAAs in it branch chain amino acid drink so this is now a massive part of the vlog and I need to stop talking and let's go to the gym I actually have to go to the post office before I head to the gym but we're on our way all right guys so I've never actually done a voiceover for any of I feel like I've never done it for a vlog video but I probably have but I've never done it or a workout so let me know if you like it and you like the commentary and the voiceover and me talking through the workout I felt like this would be a little bit more helpful than just speeding it up so I'm just starting out with a warm-up I didn't really feel like using any type of cardio machines or doing like a lot of cardio movements for this workout so I'm just starting out with 10 pound dumbbells and I just kind of did some deadlifts and rows and I just kind of warmed up my body in a way that felt good so then I just went into squats with no weights, so just body weight squats. And um, I'm just kind of trying to warm up the legs. Your legs are your biggest muscle group, so this is really important to kind of get your heart rate up and get your muscles warmed up and working. And then I just kind of went into some more squats with a weight again. I'm just really trying to warm up the legs because I'm going to start with squats for my main workout. So now I just have a kettlebell and I'm doing weighted squats with the kettlebell. So just holding it at my chest and really um, sitting back and keeping most of my weight in my heels. And then I'm just gonna drive up and squeeze your glutes at the top. So, or squeeze my glutes, that just sounds weird. Okay, moving on to the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do one leg kind of deadlifts with a kettlebell. So this is one of my favorite moves for your glutes. And also, I feel like it really strengthens um, my arms and my back because I'm holding a kettlebell. So as you can see, this is a 15 pound kettlebell and I'm just hinging at the hip, keeping a soft bend in the knee and um, hinging forward to complete the whatever you call this. Look, I've just woken up everybody and I'm just gonna drink my coffee. I haven't even finished it yet, so just, just go with it, okay? All right, we're gonna finish those out and move on to the next exercise. <laughs> Okay, so now it's really time to get into the workout. So I'm gonna grab this weighted bar. I have literally no idea how much this weighs, but it's heavy. So that's why I went with this bar. I've actually never really used this bar before. Um, it's been a while since I have, if I ever even have. So what I did is I just started out with some deadlifts and I'm not gonna say that I have like the best, most perfect form in every single thing, but I actually decided to take off my shoes for my squats. So once I finished my deadlifts, I went straight into squats and I actually took my shoes off to feel a little bit more grounded. I felt like I got way deeper in my squat. I felt way more in control of my body, as weird as that sounds but I really got a great squat session in and I always like to check my form in the side mirror, make sure I'm sitting back, keep my knees from going over my toes and really driving up and sitting into my heels. So basically keeping all your weight in your heels 
and um, squeezing your glutes at the top is really gonna help with that muscle contraction and for really you to see the full benefits of your squats to get your glutes and quads stronger so definitely I loved this I felt really good and then here's just a side profile view so you can see I'm really sitting back I kind of didn't go down too far there but I was just really kind of trying to feel out like kind of going halfway going deeper going not so deep so it just depends on kind of how I'm feeling and sometimes I hold at the bottom I try to do these squats a little bit slower and to really um, focus on the contraction at the top so yeah, I had a really good squat sesh. Okay, so I actually tried something new out that I've never done. I did front squats, so I put the bar in the front instead of on my back. I don't know if I'm doing these right. I'm not saying that I have perfect form. Um, but I tried these out and it was really, really hard. I felt like it was almost so different from like doing a regular squat. So that was really good. And then I moved on to these things. Okay, so this is another move that I've only done one other time. And I definitely can use pointers on my form. I realize that it's not perfect but I still got a really good workout in for the glutes. So I just put a weighted bar like on my hips and then you drive up using your glutes and squeeze at the top. I didn't feel uncomfortable or in pain during this. It was very hard, but I just know that my form could be better. So and now moving on to the biceps and triceps. I just started out with bicep curls. I did a few rows. This is my, this is, this is my favorite way to really work my arms and I get a lot of questions about my arms and what workouts that I do. So typically I use 10 to 15 pounds. I can either start out with 10 or start out with 15 depending on if I'm doing a drop set or not. So I just did 10 for this workout and now I'm just doing some lateral raises. This is a great move and I'm really trying to focus on working the negative. So when you're coming down right here, I just tried to really um, to work that negative in, in a way, not just like letting my hands drop. So then I went into tricep kickbacks and I love this move, it's great. And then we did some flies. So this is a great move to strengthen your back and also your arms. So I really love doing those as well. And then I went into just doing some press ups. Moving on to tricep push-ups, normally I would just do these on my toes, but I really have done a lot of these recently and I do these at home a lot. Like I'm always practicing these and so I really did a ton of them before I even came to the gym and so I just felt really fatigued and I felt like I would get a better workout and you can see that I corrected my form because my back was starting to kind of dip in because these were getting really, really hard. So anyway, I just did them on my knees and I just really tried to focus on I don't know, doing them the best that I could and really feeling the contraction through my triceps, getting a good stretch. And then I moved back into grabbing the weighted bar and I just did some like reverse rows. So these are a great move for your back as well. And I just kind of did some variations. Now for my um, pull-ups, I'm so sad that I didn't get this. I didn't see the angle, but I just wanted to include this little clip of it anyway. I did some pull-ups that were assisted, and then I went into mountain climbers. This is a great cardio move, as well as ab move to tone up your abs. I always like to finish my workouts with abs. So here I'm just in a V-sit doing a Pilates pump, and I have like a little Pilates ball or whatever you call these um, in between my legs, and I'm really squeezing my legs together so that I get a nice contraction through the inner thigh. This is a great leg strengthening move as well as abdominal strengthening move. So now I just continued in my V-sits and I like to do lots of different variations of these. So as you can see, this is a great move for your abs and to really tone your leg. Okay, so I literally died. I was so tired and then I recovered. I played it off by doing, I like to call these like star sits. I know that's not what they're called, but that's what I call them. So that's what we're calling them, okay? You kind of like go out and do a little star and then you come up and you give your legs a hug. And this is a great core move. 
and it's just one of my favorite moves. So now I'm coming into a plank. I love to finish off my workouts with a plank. I really feel this, like this makes me sweat everything out and it's just a great overall move to finish off your workouts. It's definitely my top move for finishing workouts. So I held that for pretty much as long as I could, sped it up for you guys and um, and then I just went into some stretches. And this is my favorite part of the way, the way, what am I saying right now? I'm not even gonna edit this voiceover, okay. I went into foam rolling and this is so important to do, especially after you lift weights. Um, my right quad was in so much pain. You can probably watch my face, not probably, if you watch my face, you will see that I'm in pain. Like it was so painful. So I kind of like to hold a certain area. Okay, so there you go, I'm dying. Um, I like to hold a certain area that's like killer. And then I moved into foam rolling my back. I like to call this the cheap person's massage or the poor person's massage because this is literally the cheapest, best massage you will ever get, ever. And you only have to have a foam roller and you can massage whenever you want. So. Then I just, after I rolled out my back, which was very, very nice, it felt so good. This is another one of my favorite stretches to kind of put the foam roller underneath your back and um, open up your hands. And this really stretches out your back. Then I went into moving on to, what am I saying right now? Then I moved on to foam rolling, foam rolling. Okay, I moved on to foam rolling my calves. So this was very painful. My right leg was so tight and tense. And then I moved on to a glute stretch, which is one of my favorites and then switch legs. And then I moved on to really stretching out my hip flexors. So that's what I did for that. You just pull one leg in front of the other and then sit up. It's a great stretch. It's one of my favorites. And then I just moved on to some regular stretches kind of relaxed, took some deep breaths and finished my workout with lots of stretching and foam rolling and I felt so, 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 so good. This was an amazing workout. Okay guys, I just finished my workout. It was such a good workout. I feel so good. I started working out at 2.20 and it's 3.20, so about an hour for a warm up. Oh dang it, I forgot to do the hanging ab exercise that I wanted to do, but that's okay. So with warm up, weights, and then stretching and foam rolling, an hour. Lots of glute work, getting the legs and booty strong and I just feel so good when I do legs and glutes it's just such a good workout and I actually get a lot of questions about like a good booty workout so my favorite moves are squats lunges and then kettlebell so that's what I like to do so that was a really good like booty workout if you are looking for one also um, I really love you saw that I did a little bit of arms in there and like triceps and stuff and I also was doing some um, like pull-ups I'm, I'm really trying to work on my pull-ups so yeah it was a really great workout and oh my gosh my ring is so sparkly in the light I feel so much better after that workout though seriously I feel like I have so much more energy and now I'm gonna go home rinse off and then change it to some regular clothes and then I need to head to a coffee shop because I actually have a lot of work that I need to get done this evening I have a lot of emails and a lot of stuff that I have to work on but I feel prepared for it because I filmed all morning and I edited and I'm glad I got my workout in now I'm rejuvenated and ready to finish working hey guys so I just finished actually editing most of this vlog. Sorry, I'm kind of not in focus. Yeah, I just finished editing most of this vlog and I took a shower. My hair is all crazy, but I know I didn't take off my makeup, which is kind of gross, but oh well. So now I'm gonna make a protein smoothie. I should have eaten after I worked out too, but I just kind of got cut up. I just sat down. I was just gonna import the footage really quick, but then I ended up like really wanting to edit it. So I just did that and I got sucked into it. And then now here I am. I'm gonna show you what I'm using. So I'm gonna start out with some of this almond milk from Trader Joe's. We don't have a lot of this left either. So I'm just gonna pour the rest of that in there. I don't even know, it's probably maybe like half a cup, maybe. And then I'm gonna be using this organic antioxidant blend. And I think this is from Costco. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, cherries, and pomegranate in it. I'm gonna do a scoop and then another scoop and I wanna get some more of the blueberries in there and another scoop. Don't you hate like terrible zippers? They're the worst. It's like, come on, if you're gonna put a zipper 
at least put one that works. Lately, I've been using Karina and Katrina's Protein Perfect Fit. They reformulated it and they got rid of the rice protein, which I love. So I'm just gonna do a scoop of that. It's just pea, pea protein and pumpkin seed protein. And then vanilla and some other ingredients. It's completely organic and it doesn't hurt my stomach. I'm gonna add a scoop of ribose. So this is D-ribose. It supports muscle recovery, energy, and endurance. So after my good lifting session, so after my workout, this is really great because it helps with muscle recovery. I can't believe I almost forgot to add this in. So there is a scoop of that. This is my post-workout smoothie. It's so good, I love it. It's a little bit more tart than I thought it was gonna be, and I kind of like that because normally my smoothies are really, really sweet, but I think the cherries kind of added that tartness in there. I am gonna pack up my bag now and head out to go to a coffee shop. Probably work for, I wouldn't even be surprised if I was working until like 8.30 or something like that. So I have a lot of emails and a lot of stuff to get done. I'm actually kind of excited in a way. Like I feel refreshed after the workout, and I'm almost like looking forward to like sitting down and like enjoying like a hot tea and just kind of, I don't know, like working but taking a breather in a way. Also, I had a question for you guys. I was wondering if you guys had any suggestions for going on a honeymoon because Bo and I are looking into booking our honeymoon the first week of February. So I'm pretty sure, like I'm like 80% sure we're gonna book our honeymoon then. So I kinda wanted to put this out now so I can kind of see your feedback and then look into your feedback and then make sure that we can book it on time because things are really booking up. So anyway, I just wanted to see what you guys thought. If you've been on a honeymoon or if you've just been to like a beautiful place that you loved. Bo and I are kind of, I'm pretty much leaning towards, I know people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, no. Maybe you won't say that, but I really wanna go back to Kauai and Bo has never been there. And there was so much of it that we didn't get to see. And I really would love to stay in Poipu this time because we stayed in Lihue, I think that's how you pronounce it. We stayed on the east side of the island, and so I really want to stay on the south side because I felt like the weather was so much better and warmer, and I know that it rains pretty much every single day there. I don't think I ever saw a sunset the whole entire time that we were there, so I don't know, I kinda just wanna switch it up. I really love, specifically I really loved Poipu, so I just kinda wanna go back, like I wanna watch sunsets there, I wanna stay in Poipu and kind of explore the south side of the island a little bit more. I don't know, I just wanna know what you guys think, if you think that we should go somewhere else, like the Caribbean, or I don't know, like, and we both have our passports, so we can go pretty much anywhere. And I'm thinking, like, even if we did Hawaii, I kind of feel like, like, I just feel like island hopping might be kind of fun, but I'm not really sure how to do that with Expedia, because I want to get a deal on where we're going. Like, I want to get, like, the flight and the rental car and the hotel, but I don't know how to do that on Expedia if we're going to go to Kauai and then, like, island hop over to Maui does that make sense so I'm not really sure how it works like I'm not sure if we can like island hop just for the day or if we would stay like a few nights like I don't really know so if you could leave a comment um, that would be so helpful and we just might take your suggestion for our honeymoon it'll be so fun to actually like go and do something with Bo and like go somewhere and stay somewhere so that's gonna be so exciting I'm really looking forward to married life and being able to travel with Bo and go places with him and just see just see stuff in our world like I would actually like to travel a lot through California like I really want to go explore Northern California and even Oregon so I don't know I'm just really looking forward to having like a travel buddy and um, I just I'm super excited so I'm really looking forward to April and I'm so excited and I'm looking forward to reading through your comments thank you so much for your suggestions on the washers by the way you guys were so beyond helpful like I literally read through every single one of your comments thank you for all of your feedback I really appreciate it we're gonna make a decision on a washer this weekend anyway I know this vlog is gonna be so long but I don't care because I personally like long vlogs and I just like keeping you updated with my life and yeah, so I'm gonna head to the coffee shop and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi guys, so it is 8.45 right now and I just finished doing emails and I didn't even get to all of them. I think I have like four left, but I was just so done that I was like, I need to leave right now. And I feel very relieved. I feel so much better now. I feel like 
I feel like I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> like I got all the important ones done and I'm so relieved. Right now I'm gonna actually head over to the grocery store to pick up a couple of things and then I'm gonna head back to the house. Maybe I'll show you what I picked up and then I will see you guys back at the house. Okay, this looks so cool. I really wanna try this, but it's really expensive. And look at this one. Let me know if I should try it and which one I should get. I'm kind of leaning towards the coconut one. Okay guys, back from the store and Bo is talking to my mom in the background so it's kind of hard to hear me, sorry. So I got the coconut milk coffee creamer. This is my favorite. I've been using this for a while and I just love it. It makes my coffee so thick and creamy and delicious and there's no sugar in it. Less than one gram of sugar in it. So it's really good and I like it. And then the next thing that I got is the coconut secret coconut aminos. And you guys always ask me where you can get this. And everybody lives in different areas and not all stores have this. So I will link it down below if you're interested in purchasing this. I bought three of them because they were on sale. So, and we were completely out of them anyway. My family goes through them like it's nobody's business. The next thing that I got is actually some turmeric. So, and this is fresh turmeric and I'm very excited about that because I want to experience, experience, I want to experiment with some new drinks that I want to make and share with you guys. So I'm going to be testing that out and then hopefully sharing it in a video with you soon. I also got just an organic package of blueberries. However the heck you pronounce this, Adels. We're going with Adels, okay? Adels. That's totally wrong, but I don't care. And the pineapple bacon sausage, I just cannot pronounce that for the life of me. The last thing that I got, which I haven't done this in a long time, I just was like, ugh, ice cream it sounds so good. I haven't had ice cream in so long. Like I literally feel like it's been months since I've had any type of ice cream. So I got the Coconut Bliss Salted Caramel and Chocolate Luna and Larry's Organic Non-Dairy Frozen Dessert. It's just been such a long day and I'm like, you know what, this is gonna be good. <sighs> Who's that? It's Curry Boy. Look what I got. Oh. Ooh, salted caramel and Ooh, chocolate. Ooh, hi, Bo. Hello, everybody. Oh, I love him. I love you. Good. I love you and the, sh ice, and the cream. ice cream. <laughs> but that's going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's literally like 9 o'clock at night. Bo is at my house eating our leftovers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he did get invited. I'm just going to eat some of this ice cream, chill out with Bo and my mom and then take off my makeup and go to bed. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.